Good morning. It is Friday. Good to be with you today. We are still in Psalm 3 and uh, looking forward to what the Lord would have for us today. The Bible reads in verse number 5. Uh, actually, 5 through 8 is what we're looking at this morning. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. You know, this morning I'd like to talk to you about Choices, decisions, choosing to do something opposed to maybe something else. David here this morning, he makes some choices that I think are such a blessing. You know, when life is full of choices, you can either be angry or you can be uh, happy. You can choose to do something wrong or you can choose to do something right. But it is a matter of choices. You can choose to love someone or not. The choices that you and I make truly have a major impact on our life. This morning, I want to point out a few things that, that David chose to, to do. First of all, he says, I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. You know, David chose to trust. In other words, he, he went to bed and he slept knowing that his enemy was there, knowing that anything could happen. But, you know, at some point in time, he had to choose to trust the Lord. At some point in time, he had to realize that he can only do so much. And so the Bible says he went to bed, he slept, and he woke up the next morning. Oh my goodness, look what happened. You know what happened? It was the Lord. You see, I just want to remind you, you know, we can only do so much in life. And I, David decided to say, I'm going to trust the Lord. And I'm going to go to bed, and if I don't wake up, then I don't wake up. But the Bible says that the Lord sustained him. By the way, the Lord will take care of you. The Lord will give you what you need each and every day. Learn to trust the Lord. There's another choice that David makes here, and he says it like this. I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people. But that was a choice. He's, he finally came to the point and he says, you know, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to let th these people uh, control my life. I'm not going to do that. And so I choose not to be afraid. Now he could. He could be so full of fear and, and make bad decisions and, and uh, be in knots all day long. He could have done that. But he chose to be uh, to not to be afraid. My friend, I tell you, fear can really grip your life. It can destroy your life. But I want to remind you, the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. But you must choose. What do you want? Well, the Bible goes on and says that the Lord or David, he, he prays to the Lord that, that God would save him, but he chooses to remember. Well, really and truly, there are other places in this particular chapter that David reminds himself about. But he says in verse <clears throat> number seven, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone, Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. You know, David is reminding himself of what God has already done. 
and he's trusting in him. But the Bible goes on and says in verse 8, Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. You know, what you and I choose to dwell on, what you, you and I choose to believe and remember about the things of God is a choice. It is so good to remind ourselves of God's goodness, of what God can do, of who God is in our lives. But it's a choice. You can, you can uh, dwell and think about and remember all the bad stuff in your life all the time. You can choose to remember maybe how that person treated you and how unkind they were to you. You could choose to do that. But wouldn't it be better to remind yourselves daily of God's goodness, of what God can do, of what God has done, and even of God's promises of the future. You see, it's a matter of choice on what you and I think. I tell you, I struggle with that often, and it is a common and it is a daily exercise for myself to choose to think of the good things instead of the bad. But David here, in the midst of all of his trials and struggles, he does make some wise choices today. Would you make wise choices? Would you determine to make decisions that are pleasing to God? Evaluate all of your decisions. Are they pleasing to the Lord? Or maybe there are things you've chosen today that would not be good. Choose to do what is right. Don't let your heart and your mind be corrupted with the evil and the, and, the, and the bad things of this world. But choose the Lord. Father, thank you today that, Lord, I slept last night and I woke up this morning. And Lord, it's because of you. I thank you for that. And Lord, you are the God that sustains me. You are uh, the God that, that keeps me going. You are the God that gives me what I need. Thank you. And Lord, help us to be not to be afraid, to choose not to give in to fear. But Lord, help us to choose to love, to, to trust you. And Lord, thank you for who you are. Bless us, I pray today, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I could have gone on and on and on in my prayer, but we serve a wonderful God. And you have a wonderful day today. God bless you.